First, let's establish a definition. Anti-Dominican rhetoric can be any of the following. One, automatically thinking that the Dominican Haitian issue is a simple issue based on race. It's more complex. Two, thinking all Dominicans are ashamed of their African heritage or policing how Dominicans should identify. Three, claiming Haiti gave our independence willingly, which is not true. As a reference for this, in the manifesto of January 16, 1844, it explains the reasoning behind the separation, which the reasoning for the separation, I repeat, race was not the reason behind it. The very reason our forefathers separated from Haiti was mismanagement. Dominicans under the occupation treated as second class and not being able to vote. In summary, these would be some of the, of the discrepancies, in my opinion. Quisquianos abroad should be familiar with the manifesto of January 16, 1844. Four, thinking Dominicans do not have a right to a secure border or believing Haiti is our burden to carry. Please remember, it's a social and economic problem, not a race problem. So let's not forget about that. Oh, it's very important um, to take that into consideration. The Dominican Republic has a racial and ethnic mix that has been formed in 500 years, acclimatizing on a large island. Like other Latin American countries, we identify by national identity. Our evolution as an ethnic group reflects the merging of people and ideas coming together. And this is all through the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries. The Dominican Republic, a racially integrated state, was open to immigration for more than 50 countries, which did not experience in its colonial times the type of slavery that Europeans impose on other territories except perhaps at the beginning of the 16th century. Regardless of what happened and how the Dominican identity had evolved during the early days, Dominicans had a relative freedom. Dominicans are Dominicans and it must be respected. Cibaeño, Dominicano, Dominicana, Quisqueano, these are identifiers for us. It can imply a person who is an inhabitant or someone who is from place X, or someone who is from a particular land or country. There has always been historical and cultural implications since inception. 